Greetings, everyone. Nycology here. Um, doing a little unboxing slash evaluation video. Um, my wife has been using a full-size Nintendo Switch for a little while, and um, after her using it and uh, talking to her, I think she would be happier with a Switch Lite. So I found a good deal on a Switch Lite on eBay. And my plan is to uh, check this one out, get this one up and running for her, and then sell the one that she's been using. Uh, the one she's been using, um, I did a little refurb on. Uh, the game cartridge slot was broken on hers. I replaced that, and it's as good as new. Um, probably better than new because it's got a higher quality thermal paste on the processor. So here we are with a turquoise switch light. That's the one she wanted. Um, found this for about 150 bucks. Um, it said used, but in uh, like new condition. So we'll see what it what it actually is. Um, they run, you know, 200 bucks new. So my plan is is to sell her old one and then come out ahead. Um, after it's all said and done. So, let's uh, tear into it. It's always nice when you're buying something used and they have it in the original box. And the box actually looks like it's in pretty good condition. So let's hope this is a good omen for... Um, the rest of it. I even took the time to put it back in the original setup here. Right. Everything come with it. Nice. Good deal. Just for grins and giggles, let's see if the serial numbers match. And they do. So this is the original box. So, first, let's make sure it'll turn on. And it does not turn on. Not starting off well, are we? So let's try to give it some juice. And there we go. So the battery was just completely dead. So we'll let it sit here and charge up for a second. And the uh, screen looks like it's in excellent condition. buttons up here in excellent condition no SD card which I fully expected no game in the slot all right well, this, uh, If so did it only want to turn on. Hmm. Well. Come with the original documentation. Let's check the back. It's brand new. Whenever we tear into it, we'll be able to we'll be able to tear tell whether um, it's ever been taken apart before. I'm hesitant to tell you to tear into it, to be honest, because it looks like it's a brand new system.
just as soon as I turned off the recorder, um, it popped up. So we've got a couple things we're going to do here. Um, this is my wife's other switch light. So first, we we'll have to set up networks here. Successfully connected. All right. Set time zone. All right. And here, if you're if you're coming from another switch, here's something we can talk about here. They make it super simple. So you tell it you want to import data from another switch. Do you still have the console? Yes. Will you keep the previous console in addition to this one? We'll say no. All right, wireless transfer one user and all their saved data to a nearby console. The transferred user and saved data will be deleted from the source console. You say okay, and transfer. And as usual, it comes up on the system update. So yeah, tell it. I don't have a very fast internet connection, so we'll see how long this is going to take. I have to say, it's a little small in the hand, but um, I'm not sure that I would want to use it. It's, it's I'm cramped enough using the regular switch. Um, so 17, 18 minutes remaining. So what we may do. Uh, keeps going down and because I do want to take you through this whole process so there's some steps you have to do on the original console which one of the kids has been you have to go into uh, system settings and tell it you want to transfer but when you get when it gets to that point it'll tell you in here so what we'll do is we'll pause the video and come back and I'll actually leave this recording so that you can see it on the screen um, and uh, we'll come back when it's done. Alright, so here we are, one minute to go, for update is completed, my internet connection is so slow, just, just so slow. How it zero minutes, alright here we go, so after system update is done, once it's up to the latest version of uh, the Switch OS, then we can do a system transfer, and I'll show you how to do the system transfer. Just for anybody that may be wondering or, or afraid to do it. Um, I was also apologies if you hear a fan running in the background. Um, it's hot. Yesterday it was 50 degrees and today it was 70 degrees. So, all right, so back to it. We're importing data. Uh, do you still have the console? Yes. Will you be using the previous console? No. Next. I have to re-download everything. This also includes anything on the SD card, which is annoying, but still. 
why they don't let you do like a one-time handover. All right, please sign in to the, all right, let me find my phone. All right. All right, so here it says mommy. So it's searching. So now it tells you what to do here. So you go to your original console. System settings. Users. Transfer user data. Next through that. Okay. For some reason, even though the battery is 80 something percent, it wants you to connect an AC adapter. This is the source console, so you're telling the Nintendo system that this is the console, you're confirming this is the console you want it to come from. Following data will transfer for mommy. User data, save data. Continue. This console is still searching. So now I see this one. This console is searching for that one. This console is searching for that one. Now it's found it. This one will pop up in a second and say this one's found it. All right, so then once you're doing all that, you want to know if you want to transfer, and then it begins the wireless transfer. And it even tells you up here in the corner, source console, target console. So that if there's any confusion, um, you can get out of it. Um, but we already know what we're doing, so there's not a whole lot. She's only played a few games, four or five games maybe, on this Switch. So there shouldn't be a whole lot of data to transfer. Um, when I transferred mine, it probably took a good ten minutes. And when I transferred uh, one of my youngest sons the other day, it took a good five, six minutes. Um, just because of the number of, of games that he's played on it. And remember when the with the Nintendo Switch, it always saves your save data on the internal memory. So even if you're switching you know, SD cards, it's going to make you delete um, when you put the SD card in the new one, and I'll show you that. It'll make you format the card, but the, all your save data is on the internal memory, which is why you have to use this transfer tool to get it over. Alright, it's been transferred in. Alright, a placeholder user has been created because, because that was the only thing on here. And then what we'll do here is we'll turn this one off and take the SD card out of it. And then I'll show you what goes from there. Also, turn it off. Some people don't realize this. You hold this button, the power button down, and power options turn off. If you just hit this, it goes to sleep. And I've, and I've met several people that thought that was turning it off. No, that doesn't turn it off. All right. User data has been... Oh, don't want to add you another user. We already got switch online. We'll skip that. Hit the home button. Takes us to the home button. Now what we'll do is we'll transfer over the SD card. And to do that, we're going to have to turn the system off. Never insert the SD card in while the system is on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the button here. Turn off. Uh, wait for it to turn off. And then we'll go disconnect the charger. We don't want to be adding any power to the system as much as we can. Adding any power to the system. All right, pull that down. Let's 
gently, never force it. Put the logo side up. Click it in. All right, push it down. All right. Go ahead and I got so many cords dangling over here. Reconnect power. And turn around. See, nothing looks out of the ordinary right now. When you log in, it's going to say, oh, I see something. And you do a system update. Normally, it's very small. Even on my system, my internet, it takes just a little bit. And then when it comes back up, it's going to see the data on the card. And it's going to see that it was plugged into and associated with another switch. And it's going to say, you have to format this card. It's, it's frustrating as I'll get out that there is no way to keep the data on the card because the Nintendo service knows that the games on that card are valid downloads. It can validate it through the eShop because you're connected to the internet. There's no reason why it should force you to format the card and re-download. Unacceptable. If it was not connected to the internet and there was no way to validate it, I could totally understand it. But the fact that it makes you format the card, see, being used in another Nintendo Switch, console was used with this console before it was formatted, Nintendo Switch data storm SD card must be deleted for it to be used with this console. So forget that it's being used with the same user ID, so you've got to delete. It deletes it, restarts, come up, and then you have to go back in and begin the process of re-downloading everything. So the battery's already at 21%. Let me see, I had my switch. It's still downloading, yeah. So you go in there. Let's make sure that it sees the card. It sees what you got. All right, let's do something really quick and make sure that the um, the card reader works. Put in cartridges, remember they're always facing you. Immediately recognize that we got the Witcher there. Good deal. Alright, so now that we've got that up, first thing that I always do now. And then we need to go into the eShop. And we have to begin the process of re-downloading everything that we just deleted because Nintendo. Alright, so to do that, you're, we're, we're in the eShop. You go over. Excuse me, let me back out of that. You're there on the main screen. Go over. Go up to your icon, re-download, and then here is all the things that she has. All right, so what we'll do is she likes Untitled Goose Game first. And we'll do Pokemon, Pokemon Home, Spyro, Tetris, 
crypt the Necrodancer. Now we go back out to our main screen and we want to see all of them sitting there waiting to be downloaded. And we go over to, oh, let's download an update for the Witcher first. Once it does that, it'll begin cascading this way. And then it'll be good to go. So there we go. We've taken a Nintendo Switch from another console, save data and user ID from another console to a new Nintendo Switch Lite and have gone through the process of re-downloading all the games. So there we go. Hope this video was at least somewhat helpful. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. And uh, until next time, this has been Necrologist, signing off.